Recently, I read an article about the rise of something called hashtag prayer. It works like this. People on social media create a hashtag as a way to remind people to pray. You log on to Twitter and you'll see things like hashtag pray for Baltimore or hashtag pray for Korea and hashtag pray for Paris. And while some people might label this type of activity as slacktivism, I started thinking differently when I heard about Brandon Ambrosino. Brandon is a journalist who was feeling helpless after his father suffered from a stroke. So he logged onto Facebook to ask for prayers from his friends. Before long, hundreds of people were reading and commenting on his post, pledging to pray for him and his family. Two days later, Brandon's father was released from the hospital with no side effects from the stroke. As Christians, we believe that God hears and answers our prayers, whether it's on social media, in our churches, or just before bed. We know that we have a Heavenly Father who desires to connect with us through His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And when we pray, we're actively practicing this spiritual discipline. And that communion and fellowship with God sanctifies us, transforms us, even if our particular prayers aren't answered the exact way we want them to be. And as we pray, Jesus is our personal advocate, praying with us, joining our prayers with His, bringing us into the very presence of the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit. So whether we're silently praying at home or pledging our prayers on Twitter or Facebook, let's continue to take prayer seriously because prayer is a powerful part of the Christian life in communion with our listening and speaking triune God, even when there's a hashtag on it. I'm Joseph Dekach, speaking of life.